Good morning, everybody. Silas back again today. Got another busy one of crushing cars. We dodged most of the rain yesterday, so that was really, really good. I'm happy about that. So it's not a muddy mess out here, so I can keep processing these cars. I'd like to get a few more loads shipped in today, and then I can work on processing some more, getting them ready to go for next week. You may notice, I've got my hat on. I like these hats. They're super comfortable. They fit on my head good. They don't blow off in the wind. Of course, it's not that windy today. But they just seem to be like a good hat, a good quality hat, so I'm pretty happy with them. I could have got them made a lot cheaper somewhere else, but I'm pretty happy with the company that made these. They're good quality, and that's what it's about. If you'd like to buy one, the link will be in the description. I probably won't mention it very often again after this. I plan on getting some more stuff made, uh, but right now there's such a backlog on everything that I'm not sure when I'll get that done. Anyway, first up on the list, we're going to get this BMW ready to go. I think it's pretty well ready. The cats are gone already, I think. Can't really see. There's none underneath it, so I'm thinking they're gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove some tires in it, and then I can smash the roof in, take it in there, drain the gas out of it, and we can ship it onto the shredder. Threw a little bit of junk in here and I wasn't even thinking those intakes were full of water. When I picked them up, one of them dumped all down my leg. Freezing cold water on a chilly morning. That's no fun. I keep forgetting to show you guys this. I lost the case cap that went on here. It was broken and the wind caught it one day and a real strong wind gust that came through the door blew it out. So when we were doing the Studebaker cleanup, I found that and it fits in there absolutely perfect. I wish it would have fit on top perfect, but that's good enough. So now it's a Studebaker loader. Just got a junker in. There's a few cars coming in today. Uh, sometime today we're supposed to go look at some cars. Now I don't know if they're old cars or not. So I guess I'll find out here in a little bit. If they're interesting though, I'll be sure to film those. And this just came across the scales. 1947.5. The gas tank's outside the cab, so this is a half year truck. Got a 261 under the hood. Locked up, but I haven't really tried too hard to free it up. There's no carburetor on it, so I'm sure it got junk in it. Been wrecked on the nose a little bit, but it still makes a good wall hanger. The cab's a little on the rough side, but it is a half year only cab, so somebody might still want it. The roof and the back of the cab are decent, it's just the floors and up here in the kick panels, a little bit rough. But around the windshield's all still solid, so it's got some good things and some bad things about it. Pretty cool truck. This side isn't quite as bad as the other side. Cab corners are solid, so I think somebody will. Buy this cab eventually. I just need to clean it up a little bit, vacuum it out, 
wash it off. That way it looks a little bit better. Like it is now, it just looks really dingy. And that kind of hurts the value of them, but I clean it up, get the cab actually off the chassis and set on a pallet, and it'll sell pretty good. We'll cut the nose off for a wall hanger. Sean, my buddy that helps me out a lot, he'll want that motor. He'll take it home, see if he can get it to turn. If he does, he'll sell it online. If not, he'll part it out. Good big old copper radiator. A few other odds and end parts. And then the chassis itself will just go in the iron. If we get time later, I moved it over here so I could unload that guy, but if I get time later, I'm going to run this out to my other place. I'm not sure if I'll have time today or not. If I don't, I'll just take it down there to the other end of the road and set it for now, and I'll run it out there later. But I've got a little bit of time left, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a chain over this and run it down to the claw real quick. Oh, before I forget, I just bought these as well. I bought some catalytic converters from one guy, and another guy had these. I'll take them over here and lay them out on the hood. There's some cool stuff in here. He bought over a thousand Hot Wheels and Matchboxes and that type of stuff. And I love Dodge trucks, old Dodge trucks, so he brought me these. I can get them out. We got several of the crew cabs, Matchboxes. We got some of just the regular Hot Wheels, that style there, out of the 70s. And then we've got this style here, which technically that's out of the 70s as well, but that's the earlier body style. Here's another crew cab, a different color. And here's a bunch. I don't have... Let's see here. Okay, I, yeah, I don't have this one, so now I have two of this one here. I can't remember what I have and what I don't have. I've got too many. And same thing with this one here. I didn't have this one before, but now I have two of them. So that's pretty cool. And I've got several of these here already, but, I mean, for the price, I'll just keep buying them up. Line them along the wall, hang them up. Some of them, if I have a bunch of duplicates of them, like these here, I have so many of these now, I'll probably just go ahead and take these out of the package. That way I can just have just the trucks displayed. All right, real quick, we're going to run out. My dad and I, we're going to run out and look at a bunch of old cars at the field that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'm not sure what we're getting into. We're not buying any of those today, or we might buy them, but we're not going to haul any today. They're back in the trees, and I'm sure they're not accessible. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to run out there. I'm going to take a look at them, probably do a little bit of filming, and then we're going to come back here, and I'm going to haul some cars into the claw, and hopefully I can get at least three or four loads in today. We'll see what happens.
Alright, I'm done hauling cars for the day. It's a bad day for square bodies. This and here's even four wheel drive. I'm not sure. I think it's a diesel. Yep, it's a diesel. Or it was a diesel. I mean, I guess it technically still is, but. She's ready for the crusher. Look at that rat nest that was behind the seat. Don't see anything good in it. I'll crush it. Maybe not tomorrow. I'm not sure if we'll be out here crushing tomorrow or not. But for sure, next week I'll crush it. And hopefully I can finish cleaning this road out a little bit. I kept trying, but I bought quite a few cars today, so I never got it all shipped out. Plus, going out and looking at that farm threw me behind as well. Good news is, is I found a guy that wants to buy the motor and tranny out of this RV, so I sold him the, R the motor and tranny cheap if he would rip all the cabinets out of it for me. So he's supposed to come grab it and take it to his shop next week so he can pull it all apart. So that'll save me some work, and I can sell that motor and tranny. I basically sold him for scrap price, but he's going to do a lot of work for it, so works good. And then these here were in the back of that other square body, the one that I crushed earlier. I uh, unloaded those and set them off to the side. This thing here is a really cool industrial looking cart, so I'm pretty sure I can sell that. And then this table is about the right height, uh, might be a tiny bit short, for a packing table. Or a workbench or something like that. But I'll hang on to that. And then maybe sometime next week I'll get time to tear this car apart, take it on it, take it on in, if I can talk. That's going to be a fun one there, I'm still not sure how I'm going to do that one. I probably won't bother trying to make it fit in the crusher. I'm just gonna try to make it fit on my trailer. And I still can't believe nobody's ever bought this car. 
I mean, I know there's not a whole lot left of it, but I didn't think I was too bad priced on it, considering how many good parts are left on that car still. Oh well. Then one other thing I'll show you guys real quick. I bought this today. It's really cool. Rear grill. I don't know what it's out of. It's got to be some big machinery. It's heavy. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Oh, there we go. There we go. Bring it back up here. Check that out. That's just a cool piece. It's huge, too. It's got to be out of like a road grader or a dozer or something like that. And there's another one there that came in. This one's still a complete car. I don't know if there's anything inside it or not. I guess we can check it out real quick. This side's all crunched. Guy had liability insurance on it and an uninsured motorist slammed into him. Totaled it out. It's all locked up. We'll knock the window out and check it out next week. There might be something in there. But it's totaled out and basically not going to get paid for, so he just lost it. I always tell everybody it costs less than $10 a month to add uninsured motorist coverage to your insurance policy. Always, always add that. You would be absolutely terrified if you knew how many people are driving without insurance or even a driver's license. Of course, that sun's right there. There it goes. But our cars are starting to stack up above the fence again. It's been a while since it's been like that. So I was editing this video and I realized I never closed it out. I had intentions of closing it the next morning and it just didn't happen for whatever reason. So anyway, that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got to look at a lot of cool old cars. Uh, didn't buy any of them yet. They're supposed to drag them out of the trees and then we'll be buying them. Uh, some of them he's going to keep and some of the others he's still going to think about. So we haven't got them all bought yet. Several of them at least he's going to drag out and we'll go pick them up as soon as they're out. I never give out locations of any of the places I film. That's not my prerogative unless they specifically ask me to share that location. So please don't ask where that place is at or anything like that because I won't be able to answer you. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and above all else, get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.